Hey everyone, Dr. Lloyd Stegman from the Better Way Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. One of the things I often hear from patients who are reluctant to think about bariatric surgery and oftentimes from people who haven't had bariatric surgery or may not need bariatric surgery is this phrase. Well, I don't understand why they do that. They're just taking the easy way out. So are you taking the easy way out by having bariatric surgery? This is one of the things that people say that just really gets under my skin. And it tells me immediately that they know absolutely nothing about bariatric surgery. When we try to lose weight, whether that's medical weight loss or surgical weight loss, we have to fight our body along the way because our bodies are designed to keep our weight stable. When we try to lose weight, we send off a number of alarms in the body to, and the body tries to get that weight loss to stop. This is why it's so difficult for people to maintain the weight loss if they're able to lose weight on their own. Maybe you've experienced that lose five, gain seven, lose 10, gain 15, and people diet their way up to the point that they now qualify for a bariatric operation. So let's look at the data. If your BMI is 40 or above, and you want to do a diet on your own, the likelihood of you losing a significant amount of weight, and we use 10% as being significant, and then keeping it off for one year, in most studies, is around one to 2%. Now, if you had bariatric surgery, depending on which bariatric operation you choose, of course, we would expect you to lose at least 30% of your body weight and keep that off for at least a minimum of seven years. 70% of people will be able to do that. So my likelihood of success with non-surgical diet, just try it on my own, less than 1%, doing surgery, minimum of 70% success. Now let's take that with a different condition. Because when it comes to obesity, there is so much bias and stigma associated with it that we think it's your fault. It is not about fault, it's about physiology. So let's look at those same numbers with a different condition. That's not about fault. So if let's say you, had a, you needed a knee replaced and you came to me and I said, well, listen, I, we've got a couple different treatment options for you. Option one, we've got a really good chance at least a good 1% chance of making this work for you for a year. But if you want me to do the surgery, I can do a surgery for you, and I've got a 70 plus percent chance of making this work for you for the least seven years, possibly 20 years. Which one of those are you gonna choose? Well, I think all of us are gonna choose the 70 plus percent chance of it being successful. Those are the same numbers when we talk about surgical weight loss versus non-surgical weight loss when it comes to simply diet and exercise on your own. So am I taking the easy way out or am I taking the effective way out for the problem that I have? I would argue you're taking the effective way out. The best treatment option when you're above that BMI of 40 or at least the one that's most likely to be successful long-term is surgery at that point. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, click subscribe to the channel, come back and learn a whole lot more about bariatric surgery.